Okay, so we'll go ahead and start the webinar. Today we're going to be discussing power meters and energy monitoring systems. Smart power meters give you access to real-time energy usage for single phase and three phase power measurement. They communicate over different mediums and protocols like Modbus RTU, RS-485, Modbus TCP, and Ethernet cabling. Energy meters are compact, DIN rail mountable, powerful, and flexible for many different kinds of applications. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box. At the end of the training, there will be some trivia questions. Please enter your answers into the chat box, and the two people with the most correct answers will each get $25. I'm Maria Lamoni, our sales manager, and I have Robert Morrell from our technical support department with me. Later in the training, he will show a SCADA-based energy management system with power meters. We have a wide selection of power meters that communicate over various protocols, including Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, and CAN protocols. They support input types of VRMS, IRMS, KW, KWH, KVA, KVAH, KVAR, KVARH, and PF. They support current measurements up to 1,000 amps. ICP-DAS was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Shinshu, Taiwan. ICP-DAS USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We have over 200 R&D engineers. We work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are ROHS compliant, which means they are lead free. We have our ISO 9001 certification, which ensures we meet product statutory and regulatory requirements. PM3112 is a power meter that supports two loops, single phase measurements. It communicates over two copper wires for RS-485 communication. We have versions that also support Ethernet cabling for Modbus TCP communication. They have two power relay Form A outputs. So you can turn devices like lights or sirens on or off with them based on the energy measurement data. They support PoE, so you can power them with a power over Ethernet switch, PoE injector, or a PoE router. They're available in Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP versions and support up to 240 amp measurements. PM3112s support operating temperatures between negative 10 to 70 degrees Celsius or 14 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. They can be mounted in a control panel with a DIN rail mount. They also support NIST traceable calibration. NIST is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Calibration is a comparison between a measurement and another measurement that is a standard in regard to accuracy. To improve the calibration quality and have results accepted by outside organizations, the calibration and subsequent measurements can be formally established as traceable in comparison to a standard. Our NIST calibration traceable certification was done by National Standards Laboratories. Current transformers, abbreviated as CT, are used for measuring alternating currents. Current transformers isolate measurement instruments from high voltage and monitored circuits. A current transformer allows the production of a reduced current which is accurately proportional to the current in the circuit. It can be connected to measurement devices like smart power meters. Data from smart power meters can be logged with data logger devices. PM2133 is a three-phase compact smart meter communicable over Modbus RTU or CAN protocols. They are DIN-RIL mountable and you can daisy-chain Modbus RTU devices over RS-485 with two copper wires. 
RS-485 networks support up to 255 devices in one network and can support communication distances up to 4,000 feet. PM2133 supports operating temperatures between negative 10 to 70 C or 14 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. They can be mounted in a control panel with the DIN rail mount. Power meters are being used for home automation. Information is gathered from sensors attached to data acquisition equipment. Lights can be turned on based on light levels or room occupancy. Energy can be monitored and the information can be displayed on a touchscreen controller. The energy usage data can show as green or red if the energy usage levels is in a desired range or not. The information can be brought for viewing on a web page through programmable device servers or serial to Ethernet gateways for RS-485 Modbus RTU-based devices. PM3310 supports up to 1,000 amp measurements, supports bi-directional measurements, and can be used for electric power monitoring and load recording for single-phase or three-phase systems. It communicates over Modbus RTU protocol and can be DIN rail mounted. It supports operating temperatures between 0 and 60 degrees Celsius or 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Bidirectional power meters are just like standard electricity meters but are designed to measure electricity flow in two directions. When you install grids connected to solar panel systems, you need a meter that shows how much energy you've consumed and you also need to show how much energy you've fed back into the grid. Power meter data logger devices like PMC5141 allow for logging and displaying of data from power meters. They have a real-time clock so you can log the time and energy data. PMC5141 comes with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card for logging information. They support up to 16 gigabyte cards. They can log data from Modbus RT devices and can communicate back to SCADA or other systems over Modbus TCP protocol. With power meter data loggers, you can predict power demands and manage and store power data. You can create different users that can log in through a web page to see the different, um, and then you can also have different users that have different permission levels. PMC5141 has two Ethernet ports and a Windows CE.NET operating system, and it supports up to 16 Modbus RTU based devices. You can daisy chain the power meters over RS485. You can log data on the micro SD card in a CSV data file. You can send the data logs back to a computer or server over FTP protocol. You can get the data over SCADA software through Modbus TCP protocol. You can also monitor the data through a web browser from a PC or mobile device. PMC5141 and PMC5151 can be used with other Modbus devices and can trigger outputs based on inputs. They can log data from various devices and can send the data back over the cellular network with cellular modems. Since they have a USB port, that's where you can connect a cellular modem. They support if-then-else type logic rules that are configurable through a web page. The difference between PMC5151 and PMC5141 is PMC5151 comes with a bigger memory card, it comes with a 4 gigabit micro SD card, and it also supports up to 24 devices, whereas PMC5141 supports up to 16. Power meters can be used with SCADA software for an advanced energy management system which can allow for monitoring, controlling, and optimizing of power systems based on scheduling and performance-based operations. They can control HVAC and lighting systems across multiple locations. Energy monitoring information shows management and systems to make informed they yeah, they allow management and systems to make informed decisions about energy activities across multiple locations. Energy management systems can help provide energy efficiency through an automatic through automatic procedures and processes which can ensure improvement based on input data. 
I will now pass the presentation over to Robert for a demonstration of an energy management system with Indusoft SCADA software. Then he'll pass the presentation back to me and uh, we'll go over the trivia questions. If you have any Okay. If you have any questions at any time, just go ahead and type them into the chat box. Okay, so let's see. Off of our home page on our website, we have many shop by industry uh, categories in which you can find many products, uh, including power meters, which cover many of the industries. Power meters can be used in many industries, including green technology and ener energy management, as well as machine automation. Uh, today I'm going to show you a brief uh, Indusoft application for uh, energy management. This is a solar panel demo, which Indusoft has and we will put on our website as well, which just shows the uh, uh, what do you call it, direction of the solar panel and which uh, and what the ah what am I trying to say the amount or percentage of the sun the solar panel is catching. There you go. With this uh, demo, what it does is this bar right here shows how much of the area of the solar panel is getting the sun. And this is just running in a simulation mode right now, but it is based on the asthmus and the elevation of the solar panel, uh, which are controlled by servos which uh, point the direction and elevate the solar panel in different directions. Uh, so you can adjust the, uh, based on global position as well, you can create a scripting which will optimize the solar panel and energy collection. Um, let's see, with this project you can also uh, create login and uh, user access and you could view it remotely using uh, web publishing. Uh, with web publishing you can view the data from any computer on the intranet within your facility or through the intranet if you publish it through uh, a server with internet connection. Let's see, with energy management you can, <laughs> with the power, or rather with the power meters you can connect to the power meters either locally using Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP. And let's see, if you want to collect data from multiple power meters at one location, you can use a PMC module and connect through the internet or through a cellular modem as well. And you can, with SCADA software, you can collect log data and create a nice HMI interface to graphically display the status of the solar panel, the wind turbines, or various other types of energy in your system. Okay, um, let's see, any, if anyone has any questions, uh, we'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I'll pass it back to Maria and uh, she'll continue with the trivia questions. Uh, Maria? Okay, um, so real quickly, some of our company benefits include customized product and OEM capabilities, low lead times, and personalized care. We provide industrial products at competitive prices and keep up with the latest technology. We offer free technical support and offer a wide variety of modular solutions that meet many different kinds of application requirements. At this time, please ask any questions you may have. Just go ahead and type them into the chat box. OK, um, so if there's no questions, you can always uh, contact us by email or phone in the future if, if you should think of any questions. Um, so we'll, we'll move on to the trivia questions. Uh, the first one is, what power meter do we provide that is NIST traceable? What power meter do we provide that is NIST traceable? Just go ahead and type your answers into the chat box.
The second question is what does a power meter do? What does a power meter do? And the third question is what can a power meter concentrator or power meter data logger do? Just go ahead and type your answers into the chat box, and then we'll be notifying the um, the winners of the we'll be notifying the winners by email. Um, okay, so we have a Shakar saying that the demo was not clear. Uh, perhaps we can pass it back to Robert for a little bit more on the demonstration. Oh, sure, Maria. Oh, let's see, this Indusoft demo just simply shows the status of a solar panel. For instance, if you had multiple solar panels in your actual application, you would create multiple screens and switch between various screens, view the status of the individual solar panels at different locations. Um, if, for instance, you wanted to create a project which encompassed like a whole energy management system uh, for multiple locations, you can combine them into one project. This screen is just simply a demo showing the ability to read positional data uh, via Modbus and also display the data graphically uh, for what uh, the status of the solar panel is. You can also log data in the background or create another screen which will log and show different uh, parameters from a power meter. Um, let's see, with the power meter you can measure the amount of energy being collected at any time as well as uh, if you have other sensors you can also detect the battery voltages of the stored energy accumulated throughout the day. And if you wanted to, from there, uh, dispense the energy, uh, you just simply you can control that through the SCADA system as well. Does that answer your question? And then uh, we have another question from Thomas. Uh, don't you have uh, free software for monitoring the power meters? And yes. The power meters all come with free software that you can use for monitoring the power. And um, so you don't need to use SCADA software. You, you could use the free software that we provide. Well, we have software utilities, plus we also have Easy Data Logger, which can work with some of our power meters. Yes, so you can either set up a customized simple system free, or you can use the power meter utilities that, that can display the data. And one thing about this SCADA demo is that it shows that you don't need to use our software to collect the data or display the data. Um, you can connect via Modbus RTU or Modbus CCP, depending on which model you purchase, to any SCADA system. It doesn't need to be for use with our software. It could be for use with any. Uh, we're just showing this one uh, using Induce Soft SCADA software. And then uh, really quickly, I'll just go over the answers to the questions. The power meter that we provide that's NIST traceable is the PM3112. And then uh, the second question, what does a power meter do? Uh, you can use it to measure energy consumption, power consumption data. Um, and then the power meter concentrator, what does it do? Or what does the power meter data logger do? You can log the power meter data, and you can also use it to turn things on and off based on conditions, or you can use it to display the data. And you can also combine data from multiple power meters to um, take the average or in one lo local uh, place, or you can, uh, like Maria said, uh, log multiple data or create conditions based on multiple power meters as well for alarms. Okay, and then um, 
I think Aaron Aaron has a question. What is the concentrator part number? Oh, okay. Um, the concentrator part number is PMC-5141, and then the other one is PMC-5151. So on our website, if you just search for PMC, they should both come up. And one of the differences that I didn't hear Maria mention is the PMC-5151 can also do Modbus TCP communication. Okay. Two power meters. Okay. Um, so as you can see, uh, John, the, the prices for the various units, these are the prices here for the PMC units, the power meter concentrators or data loggers. And then in, um, for, the, for the other data acquisition units, um, maybe I missed it. Oh yeah, power meters. So you can see here the prices. Um, this is the uh, bi-directional unit here. And then these are the PM2133 that are communicable over Modbus RTU, CAN, and then uh, these are the PM3112 series that are communicable over Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP, and you can see the prices in red. Um, let's see. Um, so Aaron has a a power a need for a power meter that measures three phase power measurements, but he also wants to trigger alarms and relays locally and send an SMS alert to a group of users, and also needs data logging. So that means you can use a power meter that supports three phase, and you can also use a power meter concentrator. So you can either use a PMC5151 or a PMC5141. And then for the three-phase, it'll say it in the description. Like These all support two loops, single phase, or four loops, single phase. So we're, we just need to look for the one that supports three-phase. For example, this one here, three-phase compact smart meter up to uh, 100 amps. Uh, so this one should be fine. PMC 2133 uh, just depends on your requirements uh, along with the PMC product, Aaron. I could send you more information after the meeting. And, um, and the SMS can be sent by email. Okay, and the SMS, can you explain to him how it can be sent over email? Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. With uh, texting uh, for phone services, uh, AT&T, Verizon, I know, have a direct email account <coughs> affiliated with your phone number. For instance, with uh, Verizon, I believe it's the phone number, so it would be like uh, 310-517-9888 at vtext.com. That should be available through your phone provider as long as your message is all uh, ASCII-based. And I think meets the minimum, of, or I'm sorry, meets the uh, within the maximum of 160 characters. You can send a text message through email to your cell phone in that way. AT&T has a similar way of doing it. If you have another uh, uh, cell phone service provider, we can help you look to see if that's possible through your service provider as well. And another option is over USB. You can use a GTM 201-USB cellular modem. And that will allow you to send out text messages over SMS. So you can either do it the way Robert just described with the email format of the phone number, or you can send it out over cellular. Okay, and if you don't have a local internet connection, then I do recommend you could just use the GTM 201 USB, and then you would get a data plan and a SIM card from a cellular provider like AT&T.
Um, so I guess if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us by phone or email. And uh, thank you so much for coming to our presentation. And um, Aaron, I'll, I'll contact you uh, and help you further. Thank you very much. Bye. -bye.